I spy with my God-given eye all of my spiritual gifts. Today, boys and girls, we are going to be making a I spy jar that will represent some of those amazing spiritual gifts that you can use to bless others. The materials that you'll have today are a bag of lots of different bits and bobs, a jar with rainbow colored rice, a worksheet with some blanks, and in your classroom, you will need either markers, color pencils, crayons, and a pencil. Let's take a look at how we can relate some of these objects to gifts that God has blessed us with. In your bag, you'll find an assortment of all kinds of different fun things. Spread them out on your table, and I'd like you to pick out six that you think you can relate to some of those gifts that God has blessed you with. Looking at the things I have in front of me, one stands out to me right away, and that is the crayon. That's because I know that God has given me the gift of creativity. So what I'm going to do is first, on my sheet, I'm going to try to draw the object inside my box. Use your best spelling however you can sound it out. Then, on this line, let's go ahead and write what this object represents to you. I like to start by saying, I am. Because God has made us all unique. I am creative. Okay, I've got my crayon. Let's find another object. I think this I represents to me how I always look around for new people to include in my fun and games at recess. So I'll write I and then say I am an includer. If you get to a point where you're a little bit stumped on what to write and how to spell some things, you can always reference the examples your teacher will have on the board for you during this time. Once you have gone ahead and colored in the details of each object, you're now going to go ahead and put them into your I Spy bottle. You don't necessarily need to just put in these six, but these are the ones that we're going to look and search for. Open your bottle carefully, making sure not to spill any of the rice. And feel free to put in as many of these items as you would like or that fit inside the bottle. Once you have filled up your bottle, screw on the lid real nice and tight so any of those special things don't fall out. Next, shake up your bottle to hide all of those wonderful gems and objects that we need to find later. You might be able to then challenge someone you sit next to to try and spy those objects that you too have found earlier. Today, boys and girls, as you work on your I Spy bottle, remember that God has made each of us unique, but he has already filled us with all of those special gifts that he's ready for us to use to bring him glory. Okay, boys and girls, you may go ahead and get started.